Okay, so this is a tutorial on how to draw fake Pokemon or fake Mon. So the first thing I do is scan my sketch and open it with Paint Tool Sci. Now Paint Tool Sci is super useful, especially for line art. I just like how you can do smooth lines with it and you can also replicate Sujimori's um, brush settings. I don't know if he uses ink and then scans it and just colors it right away or if he actually does the line art on a painting program. Either way, I'm going to use a painting program to do the line art. And so the brush settings that I use are here under my line art uh, tool. The line art tool is just the pencil tool that I've kind of customized. Um, so the canvas is usually about, let's say, 2,000 by 2,000 pixels. And if this is the case, I use about a brush size of 6.2 the minimum size of the brush at 33%, full density, a spread at 100, that gets you kind of that craggy looking uh, brush stroke, and then quality for smoothest. So just to show you what the brush does, the line art, I'm going to use my bamboo Wacom tablet pretty hard to use just a mouse so if you have a tablet this is definitely uh, the tutorial for that all right so you can see with this spread uh, I guess using a black brush would be better all right you can see with that line there are variations in the brush stroke and that kind of simulates uh, Sujimori's art. So anyways, I'm going to start with this guy. So what I'll do is I'll crop him. Uh, where is it? Canvas. Crop by selection. Cool. <clears throat> Control D removes anything that you highlight. I'm going to go check the size. I'll put it at 2000 by 2000 pixels. The canvas is now 2,000 by 2,000. Uh, all right. So let me just see if the line art brush is the appropriate color and brush size okay that's perfect so to start I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna call it line art then I'm gonna go to the original sketch layer call that sketch and set the opacity to about 30% What this does is while I draw my line art over the sketch layer, I'll be able to see the sketch layer a bit as I draw. Cool. All right, if you right click the, uh, <clears throat> the line art, uh, actually, I guess it doesn't work. Yeah. You can choose the stroke stabilizer. What this does is it smooths out your uh, your line 
So if I have it on one, the line will kind of look like this. I change it to S4 or S3, which is what I usually use. Kind of flows better. So for this line art, I'm going to use S4. And I'm going to start the line art. And I'm going to use Control Z a lot. So I'm going to speed up this process. Um, you might see me erase a bit and Control Z. There isn't anything special that I'm doing for this part. So once the line art is done, you're going to save it and then you can export it to Photoshop uh, to color it. I usually use Photoshop to color. I find it easier to customize a lot of the settings. Um, but you can use Paint Tool Sci as well. And I'll upload a, uh, a color tutorial after this. So thanks for watching.